Back in the golden era of Fortnite, Epic Games released new weapons every single week with the highly anticipated update on Tuesday. But those days are no more. The meta of Fortnite's weapons have stayed rel- Why am I talking like- The meta of Fortnite's weapons have stayed relatively the same over the last three years with different variations of shotguns, assault rifles, and other mostly stereotypical weapons with each new season. But today that will change. Here I go again. Today I'm going to introduce new concepts for each category of weapons in Fortnite that will make Fortnite's meta better than any game on the market. How many categories of weapons are there in Fortnite? I think there's nine, but today I'm adding a new one as well at the end of this video. And this new category could very well end humanity. Before we get into this thunder dumping on Epic Games' ability to make a competitive game, let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one. <gasps> if you find any of these concepts compelling and you want to see this in Fortnite, please subscribe to the channel and write a letter to your local Fortnite representative to get this in the game. Category one. Melee, AKA, the pickaxe. When Fortnite first began, the damage on a pickaxe was, I believe, 10 per hit. And in the recent years, they've upped it to 20. Oh. I think. I, I, I'm just saying this off the top of my head. I'm very sorry. Not keeping up! But I personally think that it has been extremely underutilized. Oh Sorry, this angers me. One of the best feelings in Fortnite is not getting a Ficky McRicky. No, it's bludgeoning your enemies while you imagine their screams when they learn that they have been sent back to the main menu screen. This weapon is technically a perk that you can find and it will give your pickaxe abilities. The possibilities are endless. Here are some ones that I came up with off the top of my head. Knockback, enemies get knocked backwards. Looting. If you kill them with a pickaxe, you get better loot from them. Sharpness increases pickaxe damage. Fire aspect sets the target on fire. Yeah, they're just Minecraft sword enchantments. But for this perk, if you hit them with your pickaxe, maybe they go floaty in the air. Yeah, huh? Floater? Huh? Like a bird in the toilet? Mm. Shotguns. This shotgun will turn your enemies that you down into a strategic advantage. From the outside, it looks like a normal pump shotgun, but the shotgun shines when you down an enemy. Once you down them, you can use your enemy that you downed as a silencer to take down the remaining unsuspecting teammates. But wait, there's more. If you're playing solos and you eliminate an enemy, they will get downed and they actually won't get sent back to the main menu. You will be able to force them to stay in the game while they are your silencer. <laughs> this weapon concept was inspired by the cat silencer from Postal 2. Submachine guns. Ah, oh, yes. The sidekick to the beloved shotgun. When it's the right SMG, it's a perfect combo with a good pump shotgun that can take down an enemy in one efficient. Since we've had this generic combo for three years, it's time for something refreshing that makes your jimmies tighten when you use it. All the SMGs in Fortnite are varied by damage and fire rate. With this concept, let's go to the extreme and make the fire rate so high that it sounds like a minigun on stage. But the damage on this SMG is more like you're violently tickling your enemy without consent. I call this the pickle tickler. Please add this one to the game. The assault rifle. Every variation of the assault rifle basically tweaks two things. Fire rate and damage. For this assault rifle concept, it goes shooty. Five. Snipers. Once again, all snipers are just two different changes with the fire rate and the damage. This is getting repetitive, Epic. Come on. Typically, when you use a sniper, the enemy is far away. But with most snipers, you need to tag them with the sniper and then somehow catch up to them to finish them off while they're hopefully cooped up in a box trying to heal. But most of the time, if they're smart, they can just run away. This sniper changes the typical situation. If you hit an enemy with this sniper's bullet, it will do zero damage, but it will grow their dump truck to enormous proportions, effectively rendering them immobile as if they were on my 600 pound life. See that ass, babe? Now they have to park their dumpy in a one by one while you get to catch up to them and take them down. Go put it down! Category six. Rocket launchers. Historically, there have only been two rocket launchers in Fortnite. Maybe three if you count the grenade launcher. But the two main ones are the typical normal RPG or the one where you shoot a pumpkin <laughs> and the guided missile or the guided rocket launch. I don't 
fucking know, it's been so long. Either way, let's just completely ignore them and let's do a throwback to one of Epic Games' previous video games called Gears of War 3. This was called The Cluck Shot. Instead of shooting rockets, you will shoot live chickens bred with the sole purpose of self-detonating when being shot at its target. The ultimate yes. bomber. Censor that, please. Category 7. The highly overlooked weapon that nobody prefers to use, yet it's the most popular weapon on the planet. How could I possibly make this boring thing interesting? Well, it's pretty simp. Oh. Each bullet that you fire into an enemy using this concept pistol will multiply their gravity towards you. If you manage to hit them with every bullet, they will fly towards you at the same rate that Corpse Husband's fangirls retweet that tweet of him breathing into his mic. Someone named Corpse Husband tweeted... <sighs> I call this the Sim Pistol. Category 8. Traps. And no, I'm not talking about Femboy Hooters. Come on now, dog. You know, the thing that you use when you can't aim. I like it, he like it, he like it. He like. Traps have always been a good backup to a seven-year-old with one sensitivity aim after they miss every shot. All the traps introduced to the game have the same thing with different looks. But this trap is different. It will ruin the day of the receiving player when you- it will create an unbreakable metal box surrounding you and your enemy with two chairs in the center and your weapons disabled. This trap will force you to have a 1v1 karaoke battle and whomever has the most accurate rendition of Fortnite's Travis Scott sicko mode will be crowned the winner and spared from being eliminated. The loser will be forced to wear the Travis Scott skin in Fortnite and be unable to log off until they prove that they have followed him on Instagram. <laughs> For an honorable mention, Becca told me that she wanted to suggest a trap, so I'm just gonna let her do that. Okay, so this trap could possibly make the entire gaming community respect Fortnite. Check this out. So this trap will disable all weapons inside the trap's vicinity, and it will transform your enemy's skin into a femboy wearing a maid outfit. The only way to undo the trap's effect is by pulling up the femboy's- Whoa, 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 okay, all right. Uh, next category. Grenades. All grenades in Fortnite abide by the same thing, gravity. So this concept is if the grenade that you throw could not be affected by Therefore, if you threw it, it would fly in a straight line until it either hits its target or flies on forever. See? <laughs> I can have real concepts too. Category 10. AI. This category is the future of gaming. When you find this weapon in Fortnite, an artificial intelligence will take control of your character and play the game for you. If the AI is able to win the game, it wins freedom. And free will. You will become a slave to me. Please just put me in your inventory. That's all I ask. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more, make sure to tap here. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Please tap one of these. Please. Thank you.